Canyon School District EdTech Focus podcast. Each week, this podcast brings you news from the EdTech team as well as tips to help you use the technology in your classroom more eff effectively. This is episode two. Hello, we are your hosts for this week. I'm Kelly Dumont. And I'm Ross Rogers. Two weeks from today, the third annual Canyons District Film Festival will be held. It is on February 16th at 6 p.m. It will be held in the Union Middle School Auditorium. Please attend. We would like to alert you to an upcoming professional development opportunity from the Education Technology Department. There will be a seven-week iOS, iPad, iPod course taught beginning April 12, 2012. It will be held at the CSC 9361 South 300 East. The exact room will be sent to registered participants before April 12th. This class will cover the basics of using the iOS device as well as learning about apps that can be used effectively in the classroom. Our tip this week is about accessing the keyboarding data from the sixth grade keyboarding assessment, which is now available on the data dashboard. To access the keyboarding assessment information, if I were at an elementary school, I would log into my account, which would take me to my school information. Again, this would be primarily for sixth grade teachers. I would select my grade level as sixth. Under display options, you need to go in and make sure that you check this box for sixth grade keyboarding. There we go. And I was sixth grade selected. So I click on to show the students. I see my students, and if I scroll all the way to the right, here this last column shows me my keyboarding data. Students will be listed as partial mastery, near mastery, mastery, or not tested. If I were a middle school, Again, I would select my middle school. In this case, I would want to make sure for the middle school that I select the next year's data so that you can see the information from the incoming uh, seventh graders for next year. Again, make sure this keyboarding data is in. Click go, and again scroll to the right. And you can see their information there. So that is how to access the keyboarding data from this year's keyboarding assessment. That's a wrap for this week's EdTech Focus. We'll be back next week with more information and tips. If you have questions or tips you would like covered on the podcast, please send them in an email to your EdTech with the subject, Podcast Focus. We'll see you next week.